Last spring, many people were caught off guard by the need to immediately start teaching science through distance learning. Somehow you had to go from teaching hands-on lessons in the classroom to teaching the same science to kids that were at home, overnight. Educators that wanted to teach more science found themselves asking questions. How can I teach a hands-on program when students are at home and the materials are in school? How can I maintain the instructional integrity of my district science program during virtual teaching? How can I provide instruction in science and help students catch up in ELA and math? Are there easy to use plans and resources that are already pulled together in one place? At Carolina Biological, we've developed a solution to help with the transitions between in-class and virtual teaching and learning. Introducing the new Building Blocks of Science 3D at Home, a digital resource that supports the remote teaching and learning of science from kindergarten to grade five. BBS 3D at Home uses simple, downloadable lesson plans to guide you through teaching Building Blocks lessons in a virtual environment. Lesson plans integrate phenomena discussions, teacher demonstration videos, and simulations that mimic the hands-on investigations students would normally do in the classroom allowing them the opportunity to collect and record data using the digital student investigation sheets or their science notebook. Other resources include interactive whiteboard activities, student literacy, and robust digital formative and summative assessments. BBS 3D at Home is an all-in-one plan that will keep your science program on track when you're not able to do in-person teaching. What's the best part about BBS 3D at Home? You already have access through your Carolina Science Online account. Just log in. Let's get started. For the purpose of this tutorial, let's look at the second grade unit, Matter. Log in to your Carolina Science Online account and click on the cover of the unit. It will open to the Unit Overview screen. Click on Unit Resources. Next, click on Digital Resources. Then using the Categories button, choose the At Home label. This pulls all of the at-home resources into one view, so you can instantly see all the at-home lesson plans and demonstration videos. There is a lesson plan for each investigation, and there are demonstration videos for those investigations that require them. To see at-home in action, let's pick a lesson in Matter and look at the structure of a lesson plan. Each investigation has a one-page lesson plan that consists of five steps. You may want to print this plan out while teaching or planning remote instruction. The first step is the phenomena discussion. You will go to the Lesson Overview tab and select the Phenomenon section. In this example, during a video chat with students, you show the Anchoring Phenomenon video, read the Investigative Phenomenon, and ask your students to share what they know, generate questions, and discuss the phenomenon. The second step is the investigation video simulation step. This step provides the guidance for the teacher on how to proceed through an investigation and the resources required to do so. Depending on the investigation, you may have one or several resources that are needed to complete the investigation, including the new at-home demonstration videos. The icons match what you'll find in Carolina Science Online, making it easy to identify the resources you'll need to use with students. At-home demonstration videos go through specific steps within an investigation. The videos include specific references to steps within the teacher guide instruction, so it is easy for you to understand what steps the video represents. Most videos do not have sound, allowing you to teach the lesson as if your students were in the classroom. As you discuss what's happening in the video, you should pause and rewind so students can make predictions ask questions, and collect data just like they would if they were in the classroom. This is an example of a demonstration video from Lesson 3, Investigation A, What are the Properties of Solids? Notice that the title includes which step of the investigation the video features, and the students have been asked to make observations of a sponge, paper clip, and a rubber band. They have already learned about the properties of the different states of matter in a previous investigation. You would show the various clips, ask students for their observations, and have them document their ideas on the student investigation sheet. Occasionally, you'll see instructions to utilize a teacher preparation video to facilitate instruction. In this example, you would show your students a specific clip from the video to help them with the investigation. 
Show the video with no sound so you can talk over it, pause, restart, and get student input. Sometimes a simulation is used to facilitate a discussion or for students to use to make predictions or collect data that's needed to complete an investigation. Simulations always have simple directions for students to follow that are in English and Spanish. Simulations help to reinforce concepts and offer opportunities for additional practice. Another resource that is often used within the lesson plans is the interactive whiteboard. Interactive whiteboards provide a place for you to gather all your students' thoughts, observations, and predictions so your students have a visual of the discussion. The third step is data collection and recording for the students and works in conjunction with the teacher instructions in step two. As your students are working through the procedure with you, this step provides guidance on what resources can be used for them to record their information. Student investigation sheets are available as a digital sheet that students can record right on their device or as a printable PDF that students can use with their science notebook. Step four of every lesson plan is the independent work and assessment. Independent work may be in the form of a passage from the student reader ebook, interactive student reader, or a literacy article. It also could be the completion of observations or other tasks from their student investigation sheets. In addition, there is a formative assessment at the end of every investigation called Tell Me More. Step 5 offers ideas for additional assignments you may want to assign, including extensions that are safe for students to do at home or some additional reading that supports the concepts from the lesson. At the end of every unit is a summative assessment. Assessment lessons have been evaluated to determine if the performance task portion of the lesson can be completed at home or if it is better left for a time when students are in the classroom. In either case, a remote teaching and learning plan has been provided. The last lesson plan for each unit will always include two different types of final assessments. The summative assessment is a traditional assessment that can be completed online or assigned as a printable PDF. And the digital, scenario-based assessment is modeled after the types of questions found on state testing. There you have it, the BBS 3D at Home 5-Step Lesson Plan that guides you through the transition between teaching your building blocks of science 3D lessons in the classroom to teaching them in a remote teaching and learning environment. Use these plans and resources to keep your students actively engaged in science and to keep fueling their curiosity about science and the world around them. Visit carolinascienceonline.com to use our at-home resources. They will help you provide quality science instruction for your students when you are doing virtual teaching and learning. So go ahead and log in now and try at home for yourself. Keep this video handy for when you'd like a refresher. Do you need help with Carolina Science Online? Contact us at CSO underscore support at carolina.com. A specialist can help you get set up, show you how to upload student rosters, and assign work to students. Good luck this year. We hope at home will help you teach building blocks no matter where your students are learning without adding to your challenges this year.